Hi, this is Diana at the Bangor Public Library Children's Room, and we're ready to do another ABC story time. The letter today is W. W starts the word wheels. So I'm going to take out the W, and we're going to sing our ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I've sung my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Well, usually I start with a story, but today I'm going to start with one of my magnetic stories because this is a story that I've had for years. It tells how wheels were invented. This is Caveman Fred. See, he has this club with him. Well, one day, Caveman Fred had his wagon with him. And he was going to collect rocks. So here's a rock. And he put it in his wagon. And it would not go very far. What should he do? Well, he got to thinking and he said, maybe I will try these. So he got these square things and he put them in his wagon and he tried pulling it, but it went clumpity clump, clumpity clump. Well, that didn't work. So caveman Fred went and got some triangle things. I can't find the other one, but he put them in his wagon, and now it went clumpity clump again. What should he do? Well, he thought and he thought, and he got some round things, and he put them in his wagon. Do you know what these round things are called? Wheels. Well, after he got his round things, he could easily pull his wagon of rocks all back to his cave. So that's how wheels were invented. Now, can you think of things that have wheels? There's a Ferris wheel, a unicycle, a steamroller, a wheelchair. Well, I will tell you, one of my favorite things is a wheel. It's a steamroller. And if anybody watches Bob the Builder, we know about Raleigh because he is a steamroller. Now this is a Rebus book. A Rebus book is done in pictures. So if you watch Bob the Builder, you must know his cat's name is Pilchard. You must know that his other construction's name is Travis, and you must know that his, let me see, huh. and his owner's name is Bob. So when I read, I'm going to point to some pictures. Here we go. Honk, honk, shoo, shoo. Raleigh started snored in his, it's called Runaway Rolly, and it's by Allison Inches and done by Simon Press. Honk Shoe, Honk Shoe, snored in his garage. It had been a long day. When the sun came up, was still sleeping, then began to roll and snore sleepwalking. He rolled toward Pilchard. 
Meow said, but Rolly kept rolling. Rolly rolled past Travis and Spud. Stop, they shouted, but kept rolling. Rolly crashed over, crash, and garbage cans, bang. Rolly rolled over traffic cones, splat, and a lamppost bonk. Rolly even rolled into a fence, whack. Then Rolly rolled straight toward a big hole. Bob came running. Look out, Bob cried, but Rolly kept rolling. Ha! Huh. You think for a minute, what could Bob do? Did you guess put down the planks? Bob put planks over the hole. Then he put his hands over his eyes. I can't look, Bob said. Rolly rolled over the... Then he came to a stop. You made it, said Bob. But Rolly still did not wake up. It is getting late. We need Lofty to tow Rolly home, said Bob. Hooray, said the machines when got home. Rolly opened his eyes. Hi, he said, I had a good rest. Let's rock and roll. But everyone was ready for bed. Good night, said the machines. Then they began to snore. Honk, shoo, honk, shoo. Now everybody knows the Bernstein Bears. And today they are going to be on unicycles. Una means one. Bears on Wheels by Stan and Jan Bernstein and it's from Random House Publishers. One bear, one wheel. One bear on one wheel. Two bears on one wheel. Three bears on one wheel. Four bears on one wheel. Four bears on one wheel. One bear on two wheels. Four bears on two wheels. One bear on one again. One on one, three on three. None on four, four on none. One on one again. Five on one. Five bears on one, five bears on none. Ten on one. One bear on five wheels. One on five, ten on one, ten on ten. Twenty-one on none. One on one again. The end. Raise your hand if you have been on a unicycle. I bet you haven't. Raise your hands if you've been on a bicycle with training wheels. Raise your hand if you've been on a bicycle with two wheels. Raise your hand if you've been on a motorcycle with two wheels. Raise your hand if you've been on a motorcycle with three wheels. I'm going to take Fred off here. And I'm going to put up, let's first of all, does everybody know what this is? This is a street sweeper. It cleans the dust off the street. This is a dump truck. It picks up the trash. This is a st street sweeper. Wait, what was this? 
And this is a recycling truck. This is, okay. Here we go. Let's do the wheels on the bus, go round and round. But you notice there's no buses here. So we will do whatever this is here, okay? Oh, this is a snow plow. Here we go. The wheels on the recycling truck go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the recycling truck go round and round, all through the town. The wheels on the street sweeper go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the street sweeper go round and round, all through the town. The wheels on the garbage truck go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the garbage truck go round and round, all through the town. The wheels on the snowplow go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the snowplow go round and round, all through the town. Okay, this is a book, Do We Do It? It is by Brian Wenger. And it's from the Bram Wagner and Greenheart Productions. And I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to just show you about Ollie, who has to be in a wheelchair. Dewey Do It helps Ollie flow again. Dewey Do It is not having a good day. Can you guess what's going to happen to his kite? He's pulling his kite until suddenly it's pulling him right into a big tree. Now, their friend Ollie could be flying anywhere. He loved to flap his long, graceful wings and fly all over the jingle, jangle, jungle. But, oh no, Dewey has had an accident and he is in a wheelchair. But you know what, even though he's in a wheelchair, he can still paint. He can still use the computer. He can whistle, he can sing, and he can zoom through the jingle jangle jungle. Well, but did you notice that problem that kite is up in the tree? So Ali Al has decided to try to get it. And they have tied some cray paper streamers to his wings. But guess what? It didn't help. So let's see what's going to happen to Ollie next. He and his friends get some blueprints. Blueprints are what you use when you're going to construct something. So he and his friends have constructed this pulley system. Dewey held Ollie on his arm while the Dewitts pushed them around and around in the merry-go-round. The wind lifted Ollie's wings and made him feel like he was flying again. Whee! I'm flying! Ollie squeaked with light. I'm flying! I'm flying! Ollie thought he was ready, but Dewey, there was more to do. Almost, he said, almost. Next, the Dewitts made a nice soft pillow in the sandbox so Ollie could learn how to land safely on the ground. Here I come, yelled Ellie, Ollie as he sailed to the air. I'm landing, I'm landing. With each practice landing, Ollie's confidence grew. Now I know I'm ready to fly up and get Dewey's kite down. Dewey agreed, and look, Willie brought along something special to help you fly. Everyone hurried over to see the seesaw for the big liftoff. Uh-oh, Ollie was having second thoughts. But it was a little too late. Boom! Ollie shut off like a, like a little cannonball and flew straight into the sky. I'm flying, Ollie crowd. It's different, but I'm flying. He flew up, up, up to the big tree and knocked Dewey's kite loose from the high branch. 
Everyone cheered. Hooray for Ollie. Hooray. And this is how Ollie helped his friends, even though he was in a wheelchair. Now I'm going to show you something fun to do at home. Does everybody know what this is? It's a school bus. And this is a bucket loader. Every father wishes he had a bucket loader. And look what I did. Huh. Does anybody know how I made this beautiful picture? Look carefully. What do those two toys have? They have wheels. So let me show you what I did. So I took some paint. And I took my cars. I got really silly at the end. Do you know what I decided to do? I decided to use my bucket loader. Here we go. You all must see what colors red and blue make. Red and blue make purple. So, here is a nice craft to do on a rainy day. You take your toy trucks and you put some paint on some paper and you roll your toy trucks through and you end up with a gorgeous masterpiece from wheels from your trucks. Now next week will be the last one. We'll be celebrating all those birthdays of the year. Goodbye.